Hello, I'm FPX Toycat, and I feel like everyone understands the purpose of roads in Minecraft. They're relatively flat, relatively straight directions to get from one place to another to make your Minecraft world traversion a little bit easier. And this is something that makes perfect sense when you're in the overworld, but as soon as you explain that you have a 6,000 block end road, people start to get a little bit confused as to why it exists. When you mention you spent 7 hours creating it and somehow made over $1,000 doing so, the questions just seem to get more and more, and that's why I figured I would use today's video to show you and explain exactly why and how all of this stuff happened, so let's get on a horse. In this case, actually a pretty fast one, and let's use it to help me explain exactly why we have such a long end road while we traverse it ourselves. By the way, if you're curious as to how we get the horse into the end, here is my rough plan. You get off the horse, because as long as your horse steps into an end portal while you're not there, your horse will make it to exactly the same place as you, which is wonderful for what we're trying to do right here. It's a little challenging to get out of this gap. So in today's video, I want to explain the what, the why, the when, the how, and also, of course, the big question everyone on the internet always has when it comes to these sorts of things, the how much money did it exactly make? I have exact figures, just in case you're curious, we'll be diving into with today's video. So this right here is the start of the end road. Funnily enough, it actually starts on an end island, not the main end itself. There's a big glass highway to take me from one of these to the other, but this is where the end road actually starts, and that means it's not just an end pathway, a road in the end, it's a pathway through the end islands, which is super weird and might seem like it has no use, but trust me, I'll explain it when we get there. But first of all, how exactly did this end up being 6,000 blocks, and why are there signs on the left that saying things like the revolution, but with ones and zeros? Why does it say things like the mystic dragon, the day moodlies etc of the world and this explains uh, this requires just a little bit of a uh, you know background i guess Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another live stream on the internet. And this live stream is very different to every every other one, or you might argue that it's not, because I wanted to kind of test something out. Because live stream donations or live stream tips, as they're often called by the live streamers themselves, is something that you know everyone does know exists, right? It's a thing that you know weirdly enough exists to some of you. Like, why would you pay for the entertainment? But it's something that happens regardless. And I've always wondered what percent of live streaming you know tips, live streaming donations, are because people actually you know like you know care they want to have the service end of it like have the message read out and what end of it is just people being like oh yeah i don't really care about any of that nonsense what i care about is i want the you know like just to support the streamer what percent is which and that's why today we have a little bit of a uh you know a little bit of a different one i guess because we're going to be doing an experiment where there's going to be a road built in my end it's going to go this direction and it's going to go as far as the stream wants it to go um but yeah we have as you can see up here uh the link for the roads that's going to be so far. We have the length of its uh, stop location, and I want to find out by the end of this stream uh, how many people are curious. Like, you know, Excator right there, is he curious or is he not? We're going to be able to compare this against other streams, and we're going to know for sure. And, obviously, um... Oh, Jesus, 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 what, 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 what just happened with the game? What, why is that allowed? What, what the... This is, this is, Bedrock is dangerous. Bedrock is seriously... <laughs> it just killed me. It all, like, if I... Why? So every single time a donation comes in, just like it has, then the length has to go up by once. So that's three donations so far. And you can see that means we have to make it 30 blocks wide, starting at negative 1,000. I put it at 1,000, negative 1,000. And that means, um, yeah, this is basically our little plan. It's going to be quite fun, I think. That I've never been so, like, broken as a as a person, I guess. I'm like, I, I was very, very, very freaked out <laughs> by that it just... <laughs> the other end of it is also, like, I want this to be a shameless, shameless cash grab. I want this to be like, yeah, your boy Toy Cat literally came up with an idea, an experiment that he wants to test that also involves people giving him money. And will it, you know, like, are people going to be down with that? Because when it comes to streaming and me, I have pretty much exclusively stupid ideas on this channel. It's just how I live stream as a person. I think having a stupid idea for a stream just kind of makes sense. So that's what I near exclusively do. And of these stupid ideas, one of the ones I've been teasing with and kind of playing around with for a while is what if there was a stream where the, you know, the stream viewers could decide how long it goes and of course you could do so something something donation so you know people are actually quite serious about it but there's like a, a whole idea like that I've had in my head for quite some time but I figured it has to be something that actually works in Minecraft for a good reason which is how it kind of came to be that what if I make a road in Minecraft and I make the road extendable by say 10 blocks every single time that someone chooses to uh, you know make a donation we could make a road that gets longer and longer every single time people choose to make it longer and that way the live stream viewers could really determine one, how long a Minecraft feature in my world would be, but two, could determine how long the stream, which I would make that thing, 
would go on for. I would say my usual streams are about an hour or two long, and I decided, let's set out the gauntlet, let's have some preset tiers as to, you know, like obviously a donation can make the road longer, but if you make a certain donation, you make it double as long. If you make a certain donation, you get a sign with your name on. I had four basic tiers, I dis explicitly said because the word donation sounded a bit like maybe it was a charity thing. No, this is for pure greed, this is, you know, I'm, uh, if you want to be cynical about this, being like, Toy Cat sounds like you're doing this for money, yeah, this was a thing purely done for money. I explicitly said in the description, I think it even says that now, this this is explicitly going to go to a bad cause. I, I want people to not think this is going to a good cause. I clarify this in the description, but I want I want people to think this is going to be like a bad cause. Whatever you think is the worst use of this money, imagine I'm using it for that. And yeah, that's what our baseline is going to be for all of this. And uh, yeah, basically I set out the gauntlet that you can donate if you'd like to make this thing longer. And then I started the stream and I decided to see exactly how things would go. You know, this is this is Soviet road. No, no children crossing allowed here. It's kind of nice seeing it come together like this, right? And it's a very like endy, you know, dimension-y themed road. I kind of like it that way. I don't know what we're proving here, but I like it. I want to know how long the road gets. Like, is this a concept that snowballs? Or, again, like, this is just, it's all data for me that happens to also, you know, again, happens to also fund some bad things. Wait, Toy Cat is yes, and then two spaces. Yeah, that's the sign. That's the one we want. <laughs> that's a classic right there. That is a classic uh, sign. That is the classic sign, I would even go as far as to say. Hey, look, we got 690. You get it? That's that's a fun number. All the things you hate in the world. Do you hate lobster? I'll buy 12. Do you hate smoking? I'll I'll get into it with this money, you know? I'm the government here. I don't need to care about your concerns. I just need to care about your money. That is my policy, and I'm sticking to it. But the question very soon becomes, what exactly is the purpose of this? Why do you need such a long road for your end? And it seems like there isn't a purpose at first. It seems like I'm just doing it for the sake of doing something. I'm spending all this nevrak and all this end stone just for the sake of having something there. But if you think about it, and if you, you know, think about what the end islands really offer, they have chorus plants, sure, they have end stone, sure. Things that are in no short supply, and no one really needs a huge amount of. But then think about the other thing the end islands have, really the main reason for their existence and you'll start to realize it all makes a bunch of sense because you can find end islands and end cities over here or rather end cities on the end lines over here and those end cities sometimes have end ships as well this means that if you want to get shulker shells which only come from one mob only found out here in those structures right here you need to find a bunch of these end cities and given that even on a day where i'm just riding my horse through the end i have three shulker boxes in my inventory you can start to realize that oh yeah actually having shulker boxes pretty important to toy cat but also pretty important for any Minecraft player. They allow you to multiply your potential storage in your inventory by 27 times because every single shulker box can hold up to 27 stacks. As you can see, uh, you can hold a lot of different, uh, you know, stacks of something in your inventory, which when you're doing big projects, admittedly including the end road itself, are pretty darn handy. So shulker shells allow you to massively increase your inventory size and finding these end cities is really hard. There's a huge gap between all of them and going across the end is really hard, especially, you know, doing it by foot, especially doing it without an Elytra, which is dangerous because you might get stuck out here. So basically uh, having, uh, you know, like some more big pathway, an easy way in and out, allows you to find lots of these end cities for the purpose of collecting the purple blocks, which of course only spawn there, for the purpose of collecting stained glass banners, the shulker shells, of course. But there's one other huge thing people always forget. Do you think I can make this jump? I think it's stupid to try. Doesn't mean it's going to stop me though. But there's one other thing people always forget! And that is that as well as having exclusive blocks and exclusive mobs which have exclusive items. Is my horse levitating? Well, better go catch him, I guess. <laughs> this is a really bad idea. These end cities also contain some of the very best loot in Minecraft. You can get super enchanted diamond swords. Uh, you can get mending by default on a m multitude of different tools. Not all of them are usually iron. You get gold, you get iron, you get diamonds even in like pretty bad situations. Frostwalker boots, diamond leggings with enchanting on. All these sorts of things that one, can be disenchanted for experience. Two, are literally diamond armor, which you know people like all the time. And three, come with a bunch of different you know loot materials. Look how much iron we can take from just this one chest in this one end city, in this one room of it, I should rather say. Um, the amount of loot you can get from these places, if you loot the entirety of them, is pretty darn high. Honestly, looking around end cities by themselves can be one of the best ways to find enchanted diamond gear. Rather, rather than, you know, mining below ground because we haven't had a cave update. Real problem, by the way. Um, you know, instead of doing that, what you can do is instead you can just look around these and you can loot them for the various chests that they contain. You really can, if you so choose, not only find some of the best storage in the game, but also in the exact same place where you find said good storage. Wait, is that Enderman floating? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> I didn't know that was even possible. But you really can in the same place where you find, uh, you know, some of the best storage in the game, find some of the best loot to use that storage and take it around with you, which I think is absolutely wonderful. So now you understand the point of this pathway. It links to about 10 of these end cities and makes it very easy for me to find more because there's a safe way for me to get home from any point on this, uh, you know, X uh, you know, and Y axis. But now you might be wondering, so how long does the pathway go on for? How long do people decide to make it? Because right now, Toy Cat, you're at minus 4,500 blocks. Uh, how long exactly does this go on for? And the answer is well over 5,000 blocks because this right here is where we're currently due to end. Yeah, this is like, Last last big push chat last big push. So Yeah, I think this is actually I think we worked out if this is like seven hours. So wait, 11 Yeah, we'll say like six and a bit hours. This is like where my ability to like Function kind of is a bit lost like My willingness to be like hey, do you want to talk about peeing some more? Like I, yeah, that's the level we're at we're like, you know, what? isn't food tasty Don't you love? things. I'm functioning so well. I'm the best at functioning. Many people actually look at me and they say, wow, Toycat's such a great functioner. He functions so well. Uh, he's so good at functioning that I, I've i never met anyone so good at functioning in my life. Uh, some people, you know, not like those other um, non-functioners. Those non-functioners, people look at them and they say, ooh, not good at all. And then they say, yes, love, love the Toycat man and his functioning ability. So, to res in response, haha, <laughs> not functioning in your dreams. So we, 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 we're in this together. We, we had a fun little ride, chat. I, uh, I think this was great. I'm glad we went on this journey together. I really never would have anticipated when we started it go for seven hours. And my tiny payoff matrix was like, you know what? If it does go on that long, you know, try your best. You don't have to go on forever. You know, people know you need to sleep eventually. That's a thing people should know, right? That's that's a known quantity. Wouldn't falling off now be the perfect result? Just like, oops. Should we start that again then? <laughs> I do have a world backup from seven hours ago. Okay, so this is where the road currently stops. It is an end point. For the first time in a while, we can say that we've reached the end slightly. Now we've just got to do the other sides for it. See again. I know! It's a... As I was saying. Oh, there's an end ship on this one. Um, are you going to turn this into a 15, 20 minute video as well? Got to milk it for as much money as you can. Oh, that'd be perfect. Yeah, I am. Um, so I do have an editor that is good at one of like, uh, if you don't know, I have a guy who's been editing the streams down recently. That would be beautiful to like, that'd be like maximization of, of the milking of the, the others here. I'm going to see, I'm going to get like one block away and then we're going to start milking it. Because then I'll be in control of the, of the count of the, I was gonna say cow milking, but I guess of the person milking. Person milking's a weird sentence, actually. I don't know if I like that one. Oh, we're so close. 20, 40 more blocks to go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, here is the new end. It's, six, it's minus 6550. 15 blocks to go. We got this. 10 blocks to go. 8 blocks to go. 6 blocks to go. Three blocks to go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now I can decide on my own terms. Should there be... <laughs> I, Last sign. I did know that one was coming. I'll be honest with you. This is a rare opportunity you have. I'll be real with you. I... Okay. Never mind. Never mind. This is... This is... This is a little bit longer. This is the new endpoint right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is this is what you call a work. There's a super chat already. <laughs> it just hasn't showed up on screen for some reason. There you go. You know, yeah. This is this is good. This is a this is a great live stream. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's little thing. If you liked it, then hit that bell button and let me know. Remember to share the link on your social media if you want your friends to know that this is what you did this late at night on a on a Thursday. I actually was thinking 6800 would be a better end too, actually. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that'd be great too, actually. Uh, okay, 6800, it is now there. Okay, let's, let's hit 6900, okay? Let's just, let's end at exactly 6900. So, Toycat Taxes, 
you know, say what you will, but people paid the Toy Cat tax, and we used it to build infrastructure improvements. So I'll admit, we'll go to 69.69. If anyone goes above that, they are being just, they're ruining a good joke, okay? Like, the internet loves 69.69. If you ruin that for them, they'll forever hate you. Okay, this is the end, chat. I mean, a very internet way to end the stream at exactly 69.69 blocks. Thank you for watching today's stream. We did it. It's done. It's over. Oh, too late. We finished it. We finished it, Malzam. Aha. 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 Yeah, do bad things to yourself in exchange for money, but only sometimes. Which is why I actually need a horse to reverse this. It actually takes 30 minutes to walk along the entire thing in Minecraft survival. And you better believe I've done that already. Um, but yeah, this is a ridiculously long pathway. And now you know it's 69, 69 blocks. Now you know that it exists because <laughs> of a silly live stream th uh, thing. However, the big question therefore becomes like, so if every single super chat or donation was, uh, you know, 10 extra blocks, how long did it go on for? And obviously you could reverse calculate that to be like, okay, so it's roughly 6,000 blocks. That means that they're needs to be roughly 600 donations. Wow, you must have made like 600 times the minimum donation toy cat. And that's close enough to true. But again, I don't mind sharing the inside info on this one because it is such a weird thing to me. The social experiment of this was so strange because I was really expecting people would give the smallest amount possible every single time and the people would go for the extra tiers because again, I figured maybe that's what people were most interested in. But the stats actually say otherwise. A lot of people gave more than $10 for a sign, even though it wasn't required. A lot of people gave more than $25 a lot of people gave more than $5 to make double length, even though it wasn't required, just because, again, that's how stream donations, stream tips, whatever you want to call them, you know, people giving money to streamers while they play, isn't necessarily entirely about that. It's something which gives people an, a convenient opportunity to do it for the first time, but it seems as though a lot of people were down to donate, uh, you know, entirely arbitrary and random amounts, and either that's bad financial planning, or that shows that it wasn't all about the road. But again, what are the hard numbers? You might be wondering. So, uh, I, I'll show you them on screen, actually, uh, from stream Labs itself. And by the way, the stream was seven hours, so it went over two separate days. Um, the stream actually earned across those two days on the first day, um, it earned 195 in donations and 481 via Super Chats, which are via YouTube system. And on the second day, it earned 375 via donation and 779 via Super Chat. If you add those numbers together, which we'll do for you right now, you get $1,200 via Super Chat, which was, uh, you know, tipped via the YouTube system, and you get just under $600 given via donations or the Streamlabs link in the description. If you don't know though, when you donate via YouTube, when you use Super Chat functions, which YouTube kind of encourages you to do, um, YouTube actually takes 30% of a cut for themselves, you know? They provide the, the platform, they deserve to get some of that money that people think is going towards me, and uh, therefore if you take 30% away from the amount that, you know, you count that as, so take 30% off 1200 then you get about $1,400 total uh, gross before it gets converted to pounds because I live in the UK, um, but still, you get that number, which is absolutely absurd, I'm sure we all can agree, and not only do we have this absurd, you know, like, cash pile, which I'm going to do something fun with, I will tell you about in the future, but also, uh, we have access to a lot more end cities. Look at the end of the road. It perfectly timed, not only so, like, it was a super fun, profitable, interesting event, where it's my longest, second longest live stream to date, I believe, but also, you can see how we managed to find not only just a couple of end cities along the way, but at the very end, we found one, just before the end, we found one, and then next to the before the very end, we found two other ones just off to the side. There are so many end cities attached to this pathway, and it's beautiful to me that this pathway didn't just become a vanity project about like, hey, something, something money, although, again, you can be cynical and you can say that's what it was all about, and heck yeah, sure, you know, I'm the one with apparently $1,400, but also what you can say is you can say, oh yeah, we had a fun time we made a big project and the project was entirely decided by live stream viewers something I really like because again live streams are something I've been kind of dabbling with more and more it's something I find incredibly fun and I mean apparently you can see one of the reasons why uh, as a result of this video so this is my super long pathway I hope you all enjoyed it if you came along to watch it that was very appreciated and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the little bit of nostalgia because for me you know having been over a month now it is fun to dive into these sorts of uh, oldish things and uh uh, you know, remember that every project in this world has a story, and some stories are pretty straightforward. Some stories take a whole video to explain, and I hope you all enjoyed this project and its associated story. Um, and I don't know if we'll do something like this in the future. I know it would be very profitable for me to be like, yeah, let's do this every, you know, every stream, every week, uh, you know, donations aside, everything. But I don't think that's how, how it should be. I think uh, it's actually more fun 
for uh, for you know for streams to be pretty normal most of the time. And if there's a good reason to do donation equals X or donation equals Y, that's why I'll do it. But again, for the most part, I want streams to be a fun place for everyone. Even though there's probably a lot of money, apparently fourteen, uh, you know, two hundred dollars an hour, saying, uh, you know, that like it doesn't need to be that way. But I like streams. It's a good opportunity to chat with all of you, and I look forward to doing more of that in the future. For now, though, I need to walk all the way back, <laughs> six thousand six hundred ninety, six thousand nine hundred sixty-nine blocks, all the way back to the mainland. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can like it if you did like it. You can share if you really liked it. Subscribe, notifications turned on if you want to see more. If you wanted to see live streams, I recommend following me on Twitter actually, because YouTube doesn't have a specific live stream notification like if you want notifications for live streams you can turn on notifications and you can hope you get them or you can follow me on twitter and turn on notifications there because about two hours before a stream i usually tweet out saying i'm about to stream so you not only do you get noticed but also you can like set an alarm reminder or whatever um and do it that way so yeah there is a thing that you might find useful and if you didn't find any of this useful then maybe what you do is the fact that doesn't matter got paid question mark um anyway yeah thank you very much for watching because i'll see you all in the next one Goodbye. I have to pick up all this stone now.